Hey guys, it's Misa, and I quickly wanted to show you how I am working with this snow spruce ornament and decor set in the Glowforge user interface using the premium subscription. So first, I just have a piece of walnut um, proof grade hardwood in my Glowforge. I'm going to cut this all today out of walnut, um, though you could cut the frames out of different um, material as well. Um, and mix and match. Anyway, I've got the walnut proof grade setting and I'm going to go ahead and use this little plus to grab my artwork. Upload. Here we go. And I have these nestled so that you can use the least amount of material and you can also fit six of these ornaments on one sheet of wood. And I'll show you that. See, it's all selected now. I'm going to do Control C, Control V. I'm on a Mac. So whatever your copy and paste is, I'm holding Shift and the arrow key to make it move quickly. And you can see I could do six right here. And so how I have it is you have the snowflake layer, and then you're going to uh, layer this frame on top, um, which is going to score these little joints. And then you're going to have this little heart that you're going to personalize. All right. Um, and then we'll go over these settings here in just a second. Well, it seems like those last two want to be different, but that's okay. I will fix that in the overall file. So you'll see fewer things here, um, but it won't show you, it won't be different than how I set up any settings. All right, I'll do this one since it's a little easier to see. So you're just going to go ahead and add your personalization to these little hearts. I'm going to use the little text tool here. I'm really liking this cookie font right now. Uh, I just think it's super cute. Anyway, um, let's do cookie. Oh, click. Enter. All right. Now I'm just again going to use the arrows to move this, to move this over to this one. And it almost comes in at the size that I prefer. So anyway, you're just going to use the text tool, and then you're just going to layer these little engraves over the hearts. And so you would do that to each of the hearts, whatever you'd want them to say. Um, and then, oops, those are going to be set to engrave. You want your snowflake layers, all the snowflake layers, and the frames to be set to, to, be set to cut, which they are. Now this is one that you have to go in and change. You want the little um, score lines on the frame to actually be set to score. And I like high quality, that'll be a little deeper. So when you back out, you can see that the engrave and score lines are gonna be pink. The cut lines are gonna rest as red. Um, and when you hover over here, oh come on, do what I said. You see that it lights up cookie over here right and then that lights up so you kind of know what corresponding action there's going to be too now i am going to want it to score and, en and engrave first so i'm going to take this cut and i'm just going to haul it down here to have it do that last um, that was a recent trick that i learned i also have the little heart set to cut you can see as i hover here they light up as blue all right guys thanks so much